Welcome to Media Minutes. I'm Darren Woolley. And I'm Stephen Wright. In the next few minutes, we will share with you our view on building media vendor relationships. Stephen, this is literally the third party in an advertiser's media menage a trois. Well, you could well say that, Darren, but I could not possibly comment. What I mean, Stephen, is that many people think of the media advertising relationship often as the advertiser and their media agency. But in actual fact, the third party is the media vendor or owner, a menage a trois. That is true, Darren. The best media agencies manage this three-way relationship in an open and transparent way, facilitating and managing the relationship between their client and the media owners. That sounds healthy, Stephen. Yes, Darren. But there are some media agencies who see it as their job to protect their client from media vendors and are inclined to act as a gatekeeper, stopping access by the salespeople to their client team. Sometimes this is at the request of their client, but can be because they simply want to control the relationship. Mm, not so healthy, Stephen. That is very true, Darren, but media owners and their sales team can be very adept at getting access to these advertisers direct, even if the media agency doesn't encourage it. And it's a good thing, too. In what way, Stephen? There are a number of important reasons. Firstly, media owners have a very wide view of the market, business trends, a full view on media content, consumer media consumption, and more, all valuable knowledge they can bring to the relationship. Often the media owners do not have a clear view of the advertiser's business, or perhaps the information is filtered by the agency, but nothing beats a direct conversation. It is true that media owners are big businesses in their own right, with plenty of resources that advertisers could use. Secondly, media owners can be a great source of introductions to other non-competitive advertisers to facilitate collaboration but only if they have a detailed understanding of your business and marketing needs. Media agencies can do this too, Stephen. That is true, Darren, but media owners have a much broader view of the market through relationships with almost all of the advertisers using their media. And finally, but not exhaustively, media owners are often better able to propose unique or media-first opportunities relevant to your business and marketing needs. All these things are based on giving media owners a better understanding of the advertiser's business. Can't the media agency agency do that? Yes, Darren, to a certain extent they can. They can certainly share the facts, but there is nothing like building a direct relationship, particularly with your main media channel owners, to facilitate a mutually beneficial relationship. And what's the best way to do this, Stephen? Well, as I said earlier, your media agency should be happy to facilitate an introduction with the media owners of your choice. They may even suggest the ones they believe will deliver the greatest benefit. And if the media agency won? There is no real reason why a media agency would not facilitate this connection. And you would have to be concerned if this was a situation you faced. But if you do face this situation, it simply requires you to reach out to the media owners direct or take the phone call, reply to the email or take the invitation next time it is sent. Hmm. Sounds fairly straightforward. Any final advice? I encourage advertisers to build relationships with media owners and vendors, either with or without your agency. But always remember it is a commercial relationship and one that both parties should benefit from equally. Great advice, Stephen. And for more great advice, make sure you subscribe to Media Minutes, a weekly snack on all things media. Until then, I'm Darren Woolley and he's Stephen Wright. And, and this is Media Minutes. Minutes.